Hey, good morning everybody. We're doing a little Easy Plumbing's uh, quick tips and all that stuff, so here you go. Um, today we're working on a Navian tankless, uh, this is a 240A. These things were installed um, actually improperly, illegally, and we're here correcting the situation. We're actually going to do some more work and some other stuff um, on these, but today for all intents and purposes we are going to talk about flushing your tankless water heater. Now, in the area that we're at, we have pretty hard water, and when we sell tanklesses, we generally like to um, install a couple things with them to help protect your investment with these. Um, either a water softener or a halo type of a, you know, water conditioning system. That's what we really like to, to put behind these to make sure that you get the warranty and the longevity out of your tankless system. Um, it's it's not required, but it is optional. Um, this customer wasn't informed about any of this stuff, and so today we're gonna go ahead and flush her tank. This is before she has any issues like that. We're also gonna bring up the code. We gotta put expansion tank and some other stuff on these. We'll do that a little later. So what you do with this is basically um, you use pretty much common household white vinegar. Um, this stuff, she uses a lot of it, so she gave us some organic stuff, but just basically 5% five per, five percent household white vinegar. You shut off your um, your supply line or your, your valves here, your service valves, and then you tie to these little extra ports. And then we're running a little transfer pump here in the corner. And we're just gonna leave those water lines off and we're gonna let it cycle through the tankless and get some of this hard water deposit out. Now the hard water, uh, the calcium, that's what it is. It really attracts like heating elements and heat and stuff like that. So when we get these heat exchangers in, they like to plug up the pores and block everything off. Uh, a friend of mine in, uh, in another state with another plumbing company actually had a customer. Um, it cost her several thousand dollars to, to fix her home. The house did not have the proper setup on the tankless and the actual mineral deposits were getting through the tankless and plugged all the shower valves, faucets, everything up. They had to redo and clean everything, put new cartridges in. So this is why we do this and this is why we protect your home. So basically it's pretty simple. We've already connected it. It's a big loop. So we pull through one side into our transfer pump. We primed our little, our primed our little pump, hooked up the discharge side, put it back in the bucket, and then we picked up our pickup, our pickup hose. And then we're just gonna let it cycle for about 25 to 35 minutes. And uh, sometimes these things get pretty, pretty um, nasty. You may have to do it twice if you haven't done it in a long time. Um, you may have to come back and forth and do it a couple times to really make sure we get all of it out. So this, our little pump makes quite a bit of noise. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing on just to kind of give you a quick little brief um, viewing of it to show you how to do it. It's really simple. Um, and then, you know, if you have any questions or whatever, you can always call us too. So I'm gonna turn it on and you'll see it kind of come out of here and then I'm gonna stick it back in the bucket. And then, you know, that'll be the end of the video. So. When you're done, after you're done doing that, you close these valves back off, put your caps back on, turn your water on, and uh, flush it out. You're gonna have to flush it out, all the vinegar out of the system, turn it back on, and you're ready to rock and roll. So that's what it's gonna look like as we keep cycling. So it's picking it up out of the bucket, taking it through the system and back around. You'll start to see it change colors. It pulls the hard water out. 